All right, guys, we are back in code fights. Doing is lucky in the intro section. We'll be doing this in JavaScript as always. Now, what is the objective here? Well, we need to write an algorithm that is going to find out if, when we add the first half of the numbers, the in this case you can see we have one, two, three, zero. If it is equal to the second half of the numbers, so you'll see here that. We have one, two is equal to three, and three, zero is equal to three. Thus, it is a lucky number, and we need to figure out a way to do that. I did it in a uh, interesting way, uh, I would say. But what I, did, what I did was I converted it to a string. I, I reduced, I, I made it into an array. I then reduced the array after parsing the ints on each half and then I compared the values. That's what I did to do it. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So n is the number coming in. It is 1230, for instance. First thing I did was I converted it to a string. So I say n dot to string. Uh, the next thing that I did was I found out what the halfway point was for that string. So we'll uh, create a let half equal to n dot length divided by two. In this case, we know that everything is an even number because of the instructions here. So we don't need to do any additional logic. This will this will work just fine. It's always gonna be a whole number because it's an even number. Now, the next part, I'm gonna chain a lot of things together, but we'll go piece by piece as we explain. So we'll call this the first half. And what the first half is going to start off is we need it to be a substring starting at the zero point and going up to the halfway point, meaning that we want half of the string. And we'll go ahead and return first half. We can check piece by piece, everything's going. So you'll see we have two, three, nine of this right here. It's a string. The next thing that I did was I made it into an array and then I reduced those values. So, so let's try that. So you can make it into an array by calling just split we going to save and run our test. So we should have an array of 239. You'll see here, 239, very nice. The next step is reducing those values using the uh, array function reduce. A comma B. What we want to do here is return A plus B. Now this isn't going to work because we need it to actually parse it as a integer. We need to get that int value and treat it as an int so we can use parse int. Otherwise, it's just going to concatenate the strings back together and not actually add the values together. So now when we run our test here, you'll see that 239, that's 12 plus two is 14. So everything's working perfectly so far. Now, we're just gonna copy this and we're gonna duplicate that for the second half. We'll call this second half. And the only difference between this and the naming here is that where we're starting. For the second half, we wanna actually start at the halfway point, and then we want to iterate for the entire length of our string. And we can go ahead and test this by calling second half and run our code. So 0, 1, 7 is 8, and we get 8 right here. Okay, last but not least, all we have to do is, is compare first half with second half. And this will return true or false, and we're done. Go ahead and submit real quick. So an uh, uh, interesting solution to, uh, to a... Uh, Problem. There's probably a mathematical way to go about this. This was uh, a combination of string functions and math function and uh, and array functions to to get the data in the form I want to compare the first half with the second half. Just go over it real quick. We convert our integer to a string. We get half the length of that string so that we can find the half the substring of it, which we split into an array. We reduce those values. We parse the ints out of them because otherwise it'll just concatenate the string back together. And then we compare the first half with the second half to find out if it is a lucky number. 
I don't know anything about lucky numbers. I think if you're playing lottery tickets, you're better off playing poker. That's that's, that's my, my two cents on gambling. Anyhow, guys, I appreciate you all for watching the video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share. And if you would like to and have the means to, support me on patreon.com slash codingtorios360. I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, and don't forget to join our Facebook group, Code Tech and Caffeine, as well. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Special thanks to our sponsors, Dev Mountain. If you're looking for a coding boot camp where tuition and housing is included, definitely check them out. Appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.